Hi everyone, Jack here for Electronics USA. Thanks for tuning in. And we're looking at a classic 1970s era vintage digital clock kit produced by Opto Electronics, a company that is still very much in business today, selling RF test and measurement equipment. And this was one of their earliest products produced sometime around 1975 to about 1977 is what I estimate. And I believe they sold a ton of these clocks. Um, selling them through the various ham radio and electronics hobbies magazines, running advertisements for $23.50. So a really cool uh, clock kit to uh, build in its time. And um, it was among many of the uh, other inexpensive uh, clock kits that were available, sold by other various companies like Jameco and uh, Polypax and, uh, of course, Opto Electronics. I probably missed a few others, but they were quite popular uh, uh, to build in those days. I built this myself back in 1977. Built it as an electronic kit for an electronics class I was taking in high school. And a lot of other kids built these as well. And I often wonder how many of these are still ticking away in the year 2013. So next, let's have a quick look at what makes this clock tick. Back in a moment. Okay, I've got the clock out of its case right now, and I took the opportunity to uh, clean and wash the uh, front and rear plexiglass panels. It was well worth the effort. The clock had been sitting around for a number of years collecting dust, and so uh, nothing like a little bit of soap and water to do the trick, and it turned out pretty well. And I also uh, cleaned up the uh, circuit board of the clock with a little bit of water and a Q-tip, made it look nice and spiffy and clean. and. Uh, the heart of the clock is this National Semiconductor MM5314N uh, digital clock chip, a very popular uh, clock chip of its day. A lot of different uh, digital clock kit manufacturers use this chip in their designs, and it was uh, very popular back in the 1970s and 80s. And the, the LED display is made by Fairchild. It's an FND359, a very rare and almost impossible display uh, to find today, so this, this clock better last for a number of years for me here. Um, this row of transistors is used for driving the segments on the display and this row down here is used for the multiplexing of the display and a quick look around on the other side reveals that it's a pretty complex uh, single-sided board design. Uh, very few jumpers were used in its design and that added to the complexity and uh, I really respect um, the way this was designed. It, back in those days they did not, not have a CAD uh, PC board layout program so a lot of time and effort went into designing this board to say the least. And uh, no solder mask um, which is interesting for a kit. Uh, this makes it more susceptible to solder bridges. As you can see uh, in areas where the traces are pretty close together it could be a problem if a solder bridge were to develop during uh, construction. And uh, here are the set switches pretty basic and simple overview of this classic optoelectronics uh, digital clock kit from the mid to late 1970s. I'm Jack Roblin for Electronics USA. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you'll consider uh, subscribing to the Electronics USA uh, channel. And I thank you very much for tuning in and bye for now.